Hello friends, you're welcome to The Key Point. If this is your first time you're joining us in our channel, please kindly hit on the red subscribe button below the video. And please don't forget to hit on the bell button beside the subscribe so you won't miss any of our videos. Thank you. Hello friends and welcome to The Key Point. God bless you. Thanks for watching our videos. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much. The headline of our news here today says, Buhari exposes people in five states holding Nigerians well. Okay, let's quickly look at the details of the story. At the opening of 25th Economic Summit in Abuja on Monday, President Mamadou Buhari disclosed that Nigeria's wealth was concentrated in the hands of just a handful of people living in five states, including Federal Capital Territory. He made a differentiation between prosperity and wealth, saying that his government was determined to create <clears throat> sorry, was determined to create prosperity for the largest majority of Nigerians. In recent years, global events have shown that when a society and its leaders are driven and motivated by this alone, the ultimate outcome is a divided state of severe inequalities. But a prosperous society is one where the majority of its citizens have an acceptable standard of living and a decent quality of life. Nigeria is a country with close to 200 million people living in 36 states and the F city. This leaves the remaining 31 states with close to 150 million people in a state of expectancy and hope for better opportunity to thrive. This according to him was responsible for the migra migratory and security trends we are seeing today both in nigeria and across the, the region summing up experiences of his recent travels across the world the president said what was very clear at these meetings and numerous others i have been privileged to attend over the years is the increased consensus by leaders that to address population growth security and corruption matters in developing economies our policies and programs must focus on promoting inclusive inclusivity and collective prosperity this shift implies that the concept of having competitive free markets that focus on wealth creation alone will be replaced by those that propagate the creation of inclusive markets which provide citizens with opportunities that will lead to peaceful and prosperous life. He stated that his belief in the interplay of government and private sectors to protect businesses and create opportunities for citizens. As a government, our view is to equip our citizens with a means to seize other opportunities that may arise. This means we continue investment in education, healthcare, infrastructure, security and strengthened and entrenched the rule of law earlier in our remarks minister of finance budget and national planning mrs zanab ahmed said the theme of this year summit nigeria 2050 shifting gears emphasized the imperatives for the country to move to a more robust competitive private sector economic with focus on the impl implications of the projected population of the country hitting over 400 million making nigeria the third most populous country in the world by 2050. the structure of this population shows that the majority will be under the age of 35 representing a large percentage of africa's young working age population nothing that the opportunities are endless as are the risks she said however that if we do not accelerate our effort towards sustainable and inclusive growth and improve human capital Ahmed said there was an urgent need to design policies that will not only address the rising population but ensure paradigm which paradigm shift to a competitive private sector led economic growth and development Meanwhile, Chairman of the Federal Government Economic Advisory Council, Dr. Doyen Salami, canvassed unified 
unified direction approach between federal and sub-national government for accelerated economic growth. He said for the private sector to thrive, the government must create enabling environment by ensuring that the resources of private investors were served. Salami us Nigeria to take in inspiration from the giant countries the nation wanted to compete with, adding that to achieve economic growth, innovations and transformations were critical. Thank you.